So if your eyes are still open, find your seat and allow the eyes to close. Working through a few twists this morning. General waking up of the senses, the mind and the body. We're working through twists to kind of cleanse and clear out any residues of the weekend or, or maybe of the week past. And some good things happen to us, but some challenging things also happen to us. I know it definitely did happen to me. I just want to just let that go and, and move up and up a new week with clarity and and a sense of trust that all is coming. We well, don't put any expectation or any um, force on our practice, but we just show up in the practice. Committing to the practice is this beautiful self-discipline and all is coming. Mistake three, big clearing breath first, in through the nose and out the mouth. Again like that, breathe in. Exhale out. See if you can grow a little taller on the breath in. Stay just as tall, but relax the shoulders down the back. Try to free up your torso by releasing the belly for now. And we become conscious of the breathing as we even up the inhale and the exhale. Exhale wherever you are. And we inhale for four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one. In, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one. In, four, at four in maybe you want to go stretch it out for five the six and find your rhythm the one you feel comfortable in Without forcing it, see if you can find a contraction of the back of your throat, a gentle ujjayi breath. this sound of ujjayi being a little anchor to your practice to hold you in the present present moment and as always we begin to turn the awareness to the pelvis beginning every exhale with a contraction of your pelvic floor it's gentle it's not not strenuous it's just a little squeeze and lift up followed by a contraction of your lower belly and 
Mm. The contraction of your core from the inside is uh, it's fluid and soft as coral in the soft coral in the ocean. Two more breaths. Yeah, of course the breath continues, but now we reach the arms up to the sky. Taking the hands to your heart center. It's so nice to see you move. With the palms searching and the thumbs against the heart, please greet yourself in the practice. And allege that the force of everything also lives with you and through you at all times. You learn to make room for this wisdom and you learn to trust this wisdom. Chant a gentle arm. You're welcome to chant on the other side of the screen. Um. And then as you let your eyes blink open, Take a, an interlace of your hands and we'll bring the palms up to the sky. You are welcome to change your seat if it's no longer comfortable. Pressing the seat bones down, reaching the arms up to the sky and the inhale. Soften the front ribs as you turn towards your right hand side. Exhale. Back to the center, inhale, lift. Simply to the other side, exhale. Again, center, breathe in. So we use the core to twist and rinse on the exhale. Back to the center just one more time. Twist it to the left. Back to the center, release your hands. Interlace the hands behind your back to change the orientation of your wrists. Press the hands away from your bum, away from your back. Roll the shoulders down. And here again, try to get the front ribs towards one another. Look simply towards the right, and as you look towards the right, peel the left shoulder up and look towards the left, inhale, and peel the right shoulder up and come back to center, release your hands, and we'll meet on hands and knees. Take a moment there to move around in your own way. So moving around in your own way to, to get a sense of hands and, and feet and, and also get a sense of the whole body this morning. If you've had a good night's sleep, if you feel really ready or if you're maybe heavy a little bit in the body. And I find it's kind of reassuring to, to realize that um, it changes. The spreading of the hands now. Lancing in the tailbone, look down in between your thumbs. Begin to lift the shoulders up to the sky, inhale. Dive the heart in between the shoulders, exhale. So dress the shoulders and then back up, push, protract the shoulders. And then down, heart and sink between the shoulders. Keep the core active here. Again, pressing the shoulders up. Sink the heart down. Back into neutral position. Breathe in. Let the right arm reach up to the sky. Open into an up and twist. And then let the right hand go under and through. Take the right side of your face to the mat. Make it really soft here to start. Pressing with your left hand. Inhale. And the exhale, see if you can twist and turn a little bit more. Staying here, or maybe you're going to get your left leg to the back of the mat, spreading the toes down on the floor. If your leg is long, your left thigh is active. Breathe in. Stay with it as you breathe out. Press your left knee down. Push with your left hand. Inhale, come back to center. Stretch the hands forward for happy baby. 
Sorry, that's not happy baby, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> that's Anahatasana. I don't know why I said that. Reach the hands forward and the pelvis back. And just a, another two breaths here, spreading the ten fingertips, plug them down, send their heart down. Release the tuck of the toes, slide back into child's pose, forehead to the mat. Relax. I'll stay up just so I can talk to you. And come back to the awareness of breath here. So really at the core of the practice, that the practice of yoga or feeling at ease with everything and at one with everything is is the breath. The breath is the, the bridge between the known and the unknown. So we really want to invest a lot of our energy into being with the breath, into awakening the breath. And guide the breath from the tailbone to the collarbones on the breath in. Contract pelvic floor and lower belly on the exhale. Continue to lengthen your neck, breathe in. Pelvic floor, lower belly, breathe out. Beautiful. Carry the breath forward as you take yourself back into tabletop. Come on up. And your next inhale, left fingertips reach up to the sky. Lift. Left hand goes under. Go far. Left side of your face to the mat. Breathe in. And twist a tiny bit more. Breathe out. Staying here, or extend this time the right leg to the back of your mat space. Spread the cushion of the foot and the toes. Begin to activate your right thigh. And just feel where in the body you can get more spacious. Return the right knee down, return the left hand down, tabletop, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And again here, using the hands and the feet as anchors down on the earth to lift the sit bones away from those four points. Dropping the hand. Softening the back of the knees. And like we've worked on earlier already, throw, uh, draw the front ribs towards one another. Long inhale breath. Long emptying exhale. Let's see if you can grow this side of the body longer. We'll stay for another breath here. Then with the press of the hand, right leg to the sky, inhale to reach. Bring the right knee towards the center of your chest. Plant the right foot forward. Come high into your fingertips here. Extend your right hip back. So try to square your hips. See if you can send your left leg a little longer. Bend your right knee. Now notice the right thigh and the right belly. See if you can lift the right belly away from your right thigh, maybe come a little higher. Breathe in. Squeeze your right leg active. Breathe out. Left fingertips are on the floor, off the floor. Right hand to the sky. It's an easy twist. Breathe in. Right hand forward of the mat. Feet forward of the mat. Forward fold. Breathe out. Hands to the shins to start, halfway lift, flatten the back. With your exhale and the press of the belly, fold, breathe out. 
Bend the back of the knees, begin to rise up into standing. Take the hands up over your head, breathe in. And then fold back over your legs and breathe out. Again, hands to the shins, halfway lift, inhale. Plant the hands on the fingertips, so flat, left leg to the back of the space. Drop your left knee down, this time take the pelvis forward. And without any rush at all, begin by sending the tailbone forward. So activation of your Mula Bandha. Get your arms to the sky, Anjaniyasana. Getting interested into the hips on this one. Pelvis forward, pelvic floor active. Lift the heart, the heart up, breathe in. Stay as you breathe out. See if you can turn the outer arms and the pinky fingers here more forward forward, lift the heart higher on the inhale, and then take the hands down, press on back, downward facing dog, lift the right foot, we'll come high into the tippy toes on the breath in, ripple forward on the breath out, find high plank, inhale, strong low plank, exhale, Good. Keep looking down onto the floor. Push the shoulders out. Breathe in. Stay. Breathe out. We are all going to stay longer than we would like to, but we have each other to keep accountable for. Those of you with the camera off, please don't cheat. Stay with me for five. Hug the thumbs to with each other. Three. Stay up and around the chest and the collarbones. Two. We'll all take one more big breath here. Drop your knees, exhale. Stretch the heart forward, breathe in. Slowly to the mat, breathe out. Curling the heart forward into a baby cobra, breathe in. Stay up as you breathe out. Feel the toes pressing down, extend your hands towards the back, breathe in. Without getting the hands out to the side, send your hands back underneath your elbows. That's really hard. And then down to the floor. Again, cobra, breathe in. Extend your arms to the back of the space. Breathe out. Breathe in to lift. Hands return by the lowest ribs. Breathe out. Release. And one more time, press down to lift into Cobra. Extend your arms. Lift a little, a little higher, breathe in. Hands squeeze back, relax all the way into child's form. Inhale to tabletop, breathe in. Downward facing dog, press on back. Find your dog again here. Maybe you want to go a little deeper in the practice, in the, in the shape of down dog. Two more breaths here. Yeah, nice. Good job, everyone. Let's lift the left leg far to the back of the space. Inhale. Mm, knee to the chest. Exhale. Plant the foot through. Get long into the lunge. Pelvis is at the same height of your knee. Push with your front foot and your back foot. Hover the fingertips off the floor if you can. As you do that, your left glute is going to start to turn on. Stay here, feel the right hip going forward and left hip back. Breathe in, stay, breathe out. Right fingertips to the floor, hovering, left hand to the sky. Easy twist, breathe in. Two hands forward, step forward and fold, exhale the breath. Hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale. Mm, torso to the legs, exhale. Stand up, rise up, reach up, breathe in. 
Straight back over the legs, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Step with the right leg back. Right knee down, stare down with the hands first. Send the pelvis forward. And again here, tailbone scoop under. And then from the tailbone scooping under, we re-pull the spine into Anjaniyasana, arms over the head. So with that scooping under, this time the right hip goes forward, left hip back. I mean, this is the same action we just did in the, in the bigger lunge. Hands behind you, arms behind you, heart opens, inhale, stay. One more breath. Hands to the floor, step on back, downward facing dog. A ripple forward into high plank, inhale. And drop your knees if you need to. We're going to hold Chataranga for three breaths. Bend your elbows here. Stay with me for three. Bail your weight from the mat. Two. Broaden collarbone. Last breath in. Exhale down to lie down. Baby cobra. This time you go a little higher, but keep the pelvis down on the floor. Inhale. Through your knees to downward facing dog. Breathe out. Log in her breath. Complete exhale breath. See if you can all bend the knees further and keep the knees bent as you extend your pelvis away from the rib cage. Now see if that feels good, you can keep the knees bent. Or go towards um, straighter legs. Two more long breaths here. Rise into your tippy toes. Look forward to the top of the mat and we'll walk there. We'll meet there. Big toes touching when you get there to the top of the mat. Hold the back of the knees. Bend your knees. Squeeze your legs together, or push the front ribs away from your thighs. Tailbone towards the back of the knees. So try to always have a conscious or an awareness of your whole spine as you move into any as asana. And then we take the hands forward into Utkatasana. Drop into the seat. Activate the back of the legs. Really strong glutes here. Hands to the heart, breathe in. Twist to the right, breathe out. Back to the center, inhale, hands stay to the heart. And we go to the left, exhale. Yeah, great job everyone. Back to the center, breathe in. Extend your hands and fold over your legs, breathe out. Halfway lift here, inhale. Step the right leg to the back of the space. Back heel down to the floor. Bend your left knee forward. Begin to turn the inside of your right thigh to the sky. Hands halfway off the floor. So there's a long extension between my right heel and my hands. And for everyone, me included, sink the tailbone here. Drop under. So drop under. Twist the left knee. Hands to the sky. It's while you're one. Get into it. So this is kind of like a hybrid of, of the two shifts we just done before. Big lunge, but the tailbone has to reach forward so we can elevate the upper part of the spine. Reach the arms up to the sky, breathe in. Bend the front knee deep, breathe out. One more long inhale, lift. Take your hands to the floor, breathe out. Right fingertips down flat or hovering. Left hand to the sky for an easy twist. Breathe in. Let's take that into side plank. Breathe out. Left foot can stay halfway or your left leg goes and stack. 
it's still early i don't know how what time you woke up this morning so feel free to take the modification left hand forward in front of your of your head breathe here long inhale mm, hands to the floor low plank exhale this time cobra or upward facing dog lift and rise beautiful push on back downward facing dog Long inhale when you get a dog. Long exhale. Again, long inhale. And long exhale. Rise into your tippy toes, breathe in. Bend the knees, look forward. Jump if you're ready or walk forward. A little halfway lift to breathe in. We fold completely on the exhale. We're going to use the hands behind your knees. As you bring the knees forward, tuck your tailbone towards your heels. Rise into Utkatasana. Breathe in. And fold back over your legs. Breathe out. Halfway lift. Inhale. Left leg to the back of the space. The back foot is at a 30 degree angle. Bend your right knee deep. Take the hands halfway. Yeah, good. Tuck the tailbone under here. Send the right knee more forward. Breathe in. Stay, breathe out. Hands to sky. Lift, inhale. Virabhadrasana, two, one. Find the gaze here or close your eyes together. We got two more breaths. See if you can take the left hip more forward, right hip back. Good, last breath in here. And slowly hands forward and then the left hand stays down. Left heel off the floor, twist, inhale. And side plank, exhale. Find your shape. And the shape can change, right? Doesn't have to be straight into the peak, amazing long pose. It can be one thing and then another. Big long inhale here. Hand stretch the mat, lower the chest, chataranga. Kill upward facing dog or cobra, inhale. Mid and downward facing dog, exhale. Long inhale breath, complete exhale out. Rise into the tippy toes, breathe in, bend the knees to walk or hop, top of the mat. Halfway lift, beautiful everyone, fold exhale. Utkatasana, chair pose, breathe in. Hands to the heart again this time. Send the butt back, heart forward, breathe in, twist to the right. This time, find the hook of your left elbow against your right thigh. Really firmly pressing the hands, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist and turn towards your right elbow. Again, stretch and lengthen on the inhale. Twist and turn on your exhale. Begin to activate the glutes more. Find three breaths here. Try moving the right shoulder away from your right elbow. Last breath. Hands forward, hands to the front of the space. Breathe in. Go and sit down into a squat, malasana, breathe out. <sighs> hands towards the back of the space. Bring the thumbs and hands to, to, to touch down. Yeah. From here, simply sit down. Very easy. Legs forward. Into pistols grip here. Wrist the hands. Breathe in. We go again towards the right. Breathe out. Stay here, breathe in, center. 
inhale to the left center stay here or if you want more go a little bit further back so you're on your sacrum hands to the right come back to center on the inhale go to the left on your exhale center inhale right center left center right center left center let's do two more two more rounds then to the left center to the right center to the left center hold your knees roll on back and find a moment in apanasana just holding your legs appreciate these moments of pause It's all about repetition, right? It's all about the practice. It doesn't matter if today we feel really good into this core work or today we're struggling. We are doing it, that's what matters. Now when you're ready, you begin to curl in the head and rock and roll you know this is my favorite move so i like to go with then the hands try to get enough momentum to get back to utkatasana wow that was amazing hands to the heart breathe in and then we twist to the left so as always here try to make sure your right knee is go not going forward bring it back Turn the chest to the left. The two things here, it's the hands, the hands really help you to turn, but also consider the, the musculature of your core that helps you to turn. Three breaths. Nice work, hands forward, breathe in. We'll stand up this time, breathe out. Relax the legs for a moment. Tadasana. Utkatasana chair, inhale. Fold over your legs, exhale. So just flowing through what we've done before, halfway lift, inhale. Right leg to the back, exhale. While you're one, inhale and rise. Mm, stay as you breathe out. This time, interlace the hands behind your back. Reach the arms to the back. Heart forward. Breathe in. And we go deeper into your hips into a humble warrior. We let that go already. Right hand to the floor. Tuck the twist. Breathe in. Into side plank. Breathe out. Find a deeper expression on the inhale. Maybe the left knee comes up. Take the hands to the floor and lower into Chataranga as you breathe out. Go Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Inhale. And meet together. Downward Facing Dog. Exhale. With the activation of your core that you're doing on every exhale, find a, a lighter jump now. Come onto your tippy toes. Breathe in. Empty the lungs. And if you're jumping, do so lightly. Halfway lift, and we fold. Coming back to Utkatasana, strong glutes. Uttanasana, a fold. Halfway lift, left leg steps back. While you one, inhale. Get into it, interlace the hands behind your back. Roll up with the heart. 
tumble while you're exhale. Let that go, left hand down, right fingertips to the sky, easy twist. Mm, step on back, exhale. Stay and find stillness or find an extension of this shape. Breathe in, take the floor, exhale. Drop your knees at any time. Hat up, downward facing dog. Long inhale here, a long exhale. Now coming high into the tippy toes again, we're going to practice a few times jumping forward. You want to try to jump forward, but try to tap your toes to the wrist before you land between your hands. So prepare on the inhale, bend the knees, exhale and jump. Good. And then bend your knees, move the feet halfway back. Jump back to downward facing dog and do it twice more. Bend the knees so you can tap your wrist whoop, and then forward. Yeah, one more time. Jump back. You're doing so well. So there's this moment that you're like, ah, ah, ah. You're getting a bit stuck in between, which is a good thing. Try to tap the wrist. So good. We meet at the top of the mat and we fold. Bend the back of the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, breathe in. Hands to the heart, twist to the right, exhale. This time looking towards your left foot, begin to hover your left foot up off the floor. Notice your left arm and your right leg in contact. Stretch the heart more forward. Breathe in. Extend your left leg to the back and try not to dump it on the floor. Pose it on the floor. Depose le pied vers l'arrière du tapis. So really intentionally press the feet foot down. You can drop your left knee down to twist. I'm probably going to do that actually, Monday morning. But you don't have to, you can take a lunch, yes Warwick. And then we press your hands, turn the chest towards the right. And for those of you who had the knee down, you here you can decide that you feel strong enough to lift it off the floor. You decide. Keep the left arm where it is, take the right arm to the sky. Take the right hand behind your back to hook your left hip. Left hand can stay where it is, the left hand comes down on the fingertips down on the floor or on a block on the outside of your left leg. Find the depth of this twist, push the back heel, lift it up to the sky. Three breath. Two. One more long breath in. Full exhale. Look forward towards the front of your mat. Plant your back heel flat and push on up into extended uh, triangle. Ha, extended warrior. Good. Bend your right knee while you turn. My legs are struggling today. How are you guys going? Good. So feeling that the right knee goes more forward again here. It's hard for me to see on your picture, but often in class what I see is that the left part of the chest is going back a bit. Try to get yourself more forward. Looking over the right middle figure, deepening the shape. Left arm to the back, extend your right leg again. Reverse triangle, breathe in. Into triangle, heel to the left foot if you want to shorten the stance. 
right hand to the block, the brick, whatever you got. Oh, to the shin. And notice here that first you elongate your spine. And then again, you're trying to revolve around the spine. So it's, it's, it's not exactly a twist, but you want to find a little bit of a twist from the right chest to find a straighter spine. Pressing deeply your feet to activate the thighs and the, the, the calves. And if you're not there already, left hand can come up. All forward, Uttita Prikonasana. Stand the effort for three more breaths. There's one more breath. And look down, left hand to the floor, side plank. We've been here before. Right arm to the sky, maybe your right leg floats, breathe in, high to low plank as you breathe out. Go okay, upward facing dog, breathe in. Mm, child's pose this time, we'll take a bit of a rest here. Head down. And then look forward towards your hands. Slide the hands more forward. Drop your elbows down. And we'll take a core plank here today. Legs lengthen. Sit bones towards your heels. Push the thighs up off the floor. And dome your upper back here. Just gaining the body for 10 breaths. It sounds like a lot, but it, sounds like a lot, but it goes fast. It's already 8. Seven, try to activate every part of the body. Six, shoulders over your elbows. Five, don't drop your head. Three, two, last breath. Good, drop your knees, replace your hands, downward facing dog. Simple but efficient. So we find ourselves again at the back of the mat and we need to go, go back to the front of the mat. So how are we gonna do that? We can always walk, otherwise try to jump, see if the toes can tap your wrist. Near the top of the mat. And sometimes it works and you feel like you're progressing and sometimes you feel like you're a heavy potato. I feel like that sometimes. With Katasana last time, hands forward, breathe in. Hands to the heart and we twist to the left. Look at your knees, look at your feet, hover the right foot up off the floor. Don't be in a rush here, right heel to your butt. Extend the heart forward, extend your right leg back. So essentially this is a twisted, um, a twisted Ardha Chandrasana. Right toes come back when you decide, intentional. Decide whether you want to right, right knee down to the floor. Find the drishti, the eyes, find your breath. Pull the belly away from your front thigh, twist and turn. Stay here or maybe extend the leg back, the back leg lifts out of the floor. From here everyone, try to get your left hand up to the sky, turn the thumb to the back of your space and bring your hand behind your back. Hook your, you with your right hip. Look down on the outside of your left foot, hand can come down 
on the floor, on the block, or stay pushing it up. You decide. Find the posture. Then breathe in the posture. Last breath. Go ahead, gaze forward, push with your back foot, plant your right heel, 45 degree angle, and big push into extended warrior. Inhale, pop in the mouth, exhale, get into warrior two. Calm. Go ahead. Calm with the breathing, strong with the body. So same here with the front of the body, try not to have you too much forward, but really even the torso between your right hip and your left hip. Last breath. Extend your left leg, reverse it to the back, take a stretch on your left side. And then heel to the right foot. Click Konasa. Hmm. Send the left hip back, squeeze your thighs active. And again, finding a slight twisting action to find a flat back. Always being careful of your right ribcage. They tend to pop out in space, soften the right ribcage down. Right hand to the ceiling, breathe in. And stay, breathe out. Find more openness onto the left shoulder, not dumping the weight into the left arm. Every part of the body active. And then I go, looking down to the floor, plant your right hand, find your side plank, Vashi Stasana. Big breath in here, hands to the floor, high to low plank. Cool roll, upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Here, option one is dolphin pose, option two is child's pose. So, child's pose is totally fine to rest, or dolphin pose, pelvis up in the air, getting your shoulders up. And then the heart moving past the shoulders towards your legs. Lift high, pull on the belly, three more breath. If you had taken dolphin pose, walk your feet back, drop your knees, and everyone will meet in child's pose or another restful pose, maybe just sitting upright. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. And sighing the breath out. Beautiful, everyone. When you're ready, come into tabletop and into downward facing zone. Last attempt to hop for the front of the mat. When you're ready, exhale and jump up. Here, if you have a block or a book, just have it handy towards the front of the mat on the highest heart in front of your left foot. If you don't, don't worry, you'll be fine. If you have a book or a block, you'll be on the left, in front of your left foot. As you rise up, we take the right knee up. Right knee up. Good. I'm going to move here, otherwise I'm, not, I'm out of the frame. <sighs> right knee up. Your left hand will go on the outside of the left. Sorry, left hand outside of the right knee. Take the right hand to your sacrum, and first of all, try to lengthen out of your leg. See if you can stay here, or perhaps you slide your uh, left hand on the outer right foot. That's a strong, stronger grip for you to push the leg forward, and have an extension then of your whole torso coming into a twist. Right arm can extend to the back. <sighs> the T where the gaze lands, and maybe the eyes can come to the right thumb. Roll a little longer and taller. And soft bend on your left knee. Take the left hand to the block, right leg to the back. It's Ara Chandrasana. Right leg extends to the back of your space. Left hand hover or left hand to your prop. Here, if your left hand doesn't feel comfortable anywhere, take your left hand to your left thigh. What I like to consider here is finding the left sit bone to, to um, curl towards your pubis. Last long breath in here. Right foot to the floor. Bend your knees. Change the block if you have one towards your right foot and come back up. So this cramping feeling in the, in the arch of your feet, if you're feeling that today, it's totally normal. It's like, it means that little muscles in between the many bones of your feet, of your foot, are trying to organize themselves so they can hold yourself. So it's a good thing. Left leg comes up. Left hand sacrum. Right hand out of left knee. Press down, rise up, breathe in. Stay here or hold the outer foot. And again, at home is a safe space. You can try something you haven't ever tried before. Maybe extending the left leg, maybe turning back. Or maybe today you are looking towards the back hand. Once you're in the shape, find this steady breath. Beautiful. Look forward, take the right hand to the front block, left leg to the back of the space, Ada Chandrasana. Extend your two legs, make your left leg really active. Half moon pose. And then again, that tuck of the tailbone. Find an expression of yourself in this moment here. Rebound your standing leg, look down and slowly shift back onto your legs. We'll take a fold here, holding your elbows or holding your hands behind your legs. Relax. Softening completely. And 
and then slowly reach back up all the way to the steady arms to the sky, Udva, Hastasana, breathe in, full go of your legs, breathe out. Stretch the heart forward, breathe in, high to low plank, please, exhale. Well, up, we facing dog, or cobra, breathe in. And from here, everyone, take, take the pelvis down and slowly melt down on the floor. Hmm. Shall of us, not arms, lengthen. Legs active down on the floor. Press the palms down, breathe in. And then begin to lift your head, your shoulders. Looking down towards the tip of your nose, stay here. Open your heart to let your legs lift. Feeling it's the back chin of the body that's lifting you up. Legs up, trying to keep the big toes together. Maybe the hands also will lift here. Big openness. Three, two, one. Release. Take one side of your face to the ground. And a little wiggle here over your pelvis. Good. Looking forward towards the front of the mat this time. Take the hands in front and send the palms together. In a moment, you're going to look down. And as you look down, push the legs so your knees start to lift up, just like you've done before. The toes stay down, but the knees lift up. Tug the tailbone under, looking down, hover the arms up off the floor. So here, breathe in, keep the palms touching and bend your elbows. For all of us, keep the elbows flat to the side, bring the elbows to the center line. Press, the, press your head into your hands, press the thumbs into the back of the body. Hold here, send outer arms forward, roll the outer arms forward. Fifth, three, two, last breath. Extend your arms straight forward and release back down completely. Few soft and long breaths. Hands are your lowest ribs, press your toes, push onto your hands and knees, and then downward facing dog. Hmm. Look towards your hands, towards your hands, sorry, and bend your knees deep. Keep your knees deeply bent, send your pelvis to the left, and send your right foot behind your left foot. Turn around your left shoulder until your feet are parallel and the toes are printing the back of the mat. Send the pelvis up, and this is just to open the left shoulder into the rotation, hard up to the sky. Press with your uh, back of the legs with the glutes, maybe the right arm extend towards the floor. Breathe in, rebend your knees deeply, pelvis to the back, downward facing dog. We go down on the other side, bend your knees deep, send the knees to the left, bump to the right, send your left foot behind your right foot, and then from here begin to lift your pelvis, push, it's a flip dog, it's a, it's a step towards wheel pose. Push with your right hand, up in your right shoulder, inhale, bend your knees, look on down, downward facing dog. Last jump here, this time to go through to a seat, bend your knees, walk or jump through to sit. So nice everyone. We're going to come down, have a drink of water if you like, and gather your props, what you like for Shavasana. Before Shavasana, we are going to do bridge and all wheel because we prepped ourselves a little for that. We take your time. And then when you're ready, yeah, it's a bit sweaty. I'm sweaty too. Glad it's not just me. <laughs> so let's come down, lie down. So I like to stay here while you get set up. That um, wheel pose is a really strong shape, and your body is not always ready for this shape, especially the lower back. So today we worked on twi lower back. So today we worked on twisting, which is the mid back, but it, it softens the spine in such a way that sometimes we can be a strong, it, we can go bigger in, in back bends. So we'll see how you feel today, but you try to really open the mid to upper back in the back bend, so shoulders and the mid spine, and not really compressing or bending your lower spine. If it doesn't feel good today, you can come onto your tippy toes or come on down. It's not worth it really, because if there is compression, it means that the energy doesn't flow anymore. And that's not interesting, because that's not, that's the contrary of what we're trying to do. We're trying to free up the spine so the energy can flow through. We'll start with bridge pose. If you have a brick, a block or a cushion, you can Squeeze that between your thighs. Let's check if the heels are close enough to the butt. We brush the heels with the fingertips. And when you're ready, pour the weight onto the feet and begin to lift arm up into bridge. Continuing what we worked on so far today, the lengthening of the tailbone towards the back of the knees. And you can use your hands here to feel that you are lengthening that lower back area. Broaden the collarbones. Two more breaths. And 
slowly rolling down from the upper spine to the lower spine. You are welcome as always to take a soft and modified variation where you are holding your pelvis on the block. Start again with bridge pose and we'll do only one wheel pose here today. Press your feet, press down, lift up, inhale, add your arms, bend your elbow, hands flat on either side of your head. Press on your feet and on your hands evenly, try to come to the crown of the head. From the crown of the head, hug the elbows to the midline. Roll the shoulders down the back. Push with your hands, push with your knees. Hugging to the midline, we come up. Notice here if there is any pain in your lower back, try moving the torso more forward. Coming in the tippy toes is an option. Three more breaths wherever you are. Chin down, rolling on down again. Bring the feet really wide now. Knees together. <sighs> Serve. The release or the rebound effect <clears throat> of this shape. Keep the feet where the arm is up to the sky. Take the arms out wide also, knees to the left, turn your head to the right and staying here or your left foot goes on top of the right knee. Letting the knees come up to the sky and then over to the right. Feel free to add on the foot over the left knee. back to center holding your knees towards your chest the eyes is still open allow them to close don't mind the time It's totally human and normal to have thoughts of what's coming after this class as you know that this time in this this class is about to close but try to remain present investing your energy and your time in the practice itself time we spend worrying
comparing ourselves with others. Reliving the past or imagining the future. Are moments where we leak our precious energy, prana. Life force energy that lives with us and through us. We want to direct it intentionally. And if you're ready, please spread your body. The Shavasana. This is whole reason of our practice of our asana practice make it comfortable closing covering the eyes covering the body Letting the whole body rest against the heart floor. Come back to the simple awareness or awareness of your breathing. Let yourself rest. You're welcome to stay. I 
And why slowly realizing the toes, feet, and the whole being coming back into awareness. And do whatever you need. Take the route that you want to meet together in a comfortable seat. And we'll take the hands to the heart. Growing tall, the head reaching to the roof, big breath in, and out of the mouth, exhale. I'm taking this last moment of the practice to express gratitude for the practice itself. It's amazing that we now have yoga as part of our wellness journey or, or health routine and and please don't be hard on yourself or don't feel guilty if you're not practicing as much as your ideal or as more as your perfectionist self would like. Give yourself credit for knowing this practice, for having shown up today, for being in a relating with yoga, whether it's sometimes just a five minute breathing, a meditation, a longer practice like today. Big breath in. back to each other and we'll open the eyes 